to perform toric ICL surgery, only few instruments are needed. The first step is to fill the cartridge with methylcellulose. Be sure not to overfill the open end of the cartridge. This space is filled with a few drops of BSS. Then the container is opened and with a soft plunger the ICL is removed from the bottle. The ICL is then positioned in the open end of the cartridge and with the Vukic forceps the lens is placed into the cartridge, pushed forward and tucked in. Under the microscope, the ICL can be pulled into the tip of the cartridge with a bended forceps. In this way, the ICL is nicely stretched in the tip and can be delivered during surgery without problems. Before the patient is placed on the operation table, the horizontal axis is marked at a slit lamp and two dots are placed at the limbus. The markings at the limbus indicate the horizontal axis. This axis is highlighted with a marker which is firmly pressed onto the cornea to create epithelial indentations. To create a watertight three-step incision, first the 600 micron groove is performed. A single paracentesis is placed nearby the location of the distal haptics. Preservative-free lidocaine is injected into the anterior chamber, followed by methylcellulose. Make sure that the strands of the methylcellulose are still visible, otherwise there is a risk of overfilling the chamber. The main incision is performed with a 2.65 mm double bevel knife. The cartridge is then placed firmly against the incision and the ICL is injected. Wait to remove the cartridge until the distal part of the ICL is unfolded. To push the lens downwards, a little bit of methylcellulose is placed on top of the intraocular lens. With the toothed forceps and through the main incision, the proximal haptics are placed behind the iris. Make sure not to touch the optic part of the ICL because of the risk of touching the crystalline lens. Through the paracentesis, the distal haptics are then placed under the iris. Do this very gently and try not to touch the iris or crystalline lens. At the end of surgery, the diamond-shaped markings on the toric ICL are aligned with the epithelial indentations which indicate the horizontal axis. In this way, the astigmatic correction in the optic part of the lens is aligned with the cylindrical error of the eye.